Let's go. So, what is on the menu for breakfast today? My standard so go to pancakes with banana and blueberries and maple syrup. And maple mm -hmm. syrup, very nice. I think I might join you in that, maybe minus the blueberries. Mm -hmm. And yourself, Kevin, what have you had this morning? I might do a weed mix. Weed mix. I've just got to get through the day. Yeah. <laughs> of champions. Right guys, beat your root shot, packed full of nitrates to make sure the muscles are packed full of oxygen or receiving the oxygen as efficiently as possible. So here we go, tastes disgusting. Nice. I just got some electrolytes to wash it down with. <laughs> That's hugging a tree. <laughs> nice. That would be useful. Extra quarter of a mile at the roundabout. Here we go. Where's Kevin? Ah. There he is. This is it. Ah. Well, this isn't it, but stairway to pain. All these people are going to be in the vlog without even knowing it. Incredible. <laughs> so guys, we are here at the Great North Run. It's absolutely packed and we're still like three hours out to well, two and a well it's about two hours actually but yeah just gotta try and find the elite area um, i think i'm walking in the right direction but there are so many people here it's ridiculous oh right, here we go fellow elite they're under number 59 i'm number 60 i'm just gonna follow him so guys the magic armband got me in um, just woke past, oh, uh, just woke past, just walked past Asia McColgan and her boyfriend, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, just heading down to the elite area. I think there's just some, just some toilets and stuff. Uh, I don't think it's anything spectacular. Um, I think I've left my bottle of water with my parents. It's not in my bag, so, um, yeah, not ideal. But, um, I'm sure they'll be able to get me one if I ask for a bottle of water. Um, yeah, we shall see, I guess. So, to try and film as much as possible, but obviously, I know some elites will prefer not to be filmed. That's right, keep an eye out so, for the bucket we'll as well. It really is a We're really, really rooting for you guys. Thank you so much for chatting to us. Cheers. Best of luck. So guys, this is where I leave you, got a camera, 
uh, baggage into the Elite Athlete baggage, which I think is taken to the finish line. Got to go do a warm up. Um, it's all very eerie around here, no one really talking much, so yeah. Gonna get his warm up done and uh, get in the zone. See you on the other side. Grace, you're going to buy anything from the shop? Uh, no. Why is that? It's quite expensive. It is, yeah. Grace, would you be prepared to sell your left kidney for a Great North Run jacket? Um, I don't think I would. Uh, no. I'd like both of my kidneys. I have, I have no idea why. Why I wouldn't sell my kidneys? No, they're amazing, the hoodies. Oh. They're so, so nice. Definitely worth mortgaging the house. And then get it imprinted. 
Yeah, just buy the same colour and then just get someone to print. Yeah, exactly. it's good. It's good call. Genius. Ten thousand IQ up here. Yeah. Any good at all? My my not. Mine don't look that good. Yours suffer as well, Grace. Yeah, and I don't have that problem. So, guys, needs must. Has come to a fish and chip shop. I run for a half chicken, some chips, and a bit of gravy. That's gone for the same. Grace has gone for a chicken tea cook kebab with some salad. And then Mum and Kevin have gone for fish and chips. Um, yeah, it's what it is, but it does a job. So, guys, got a little treat or two. Um, be a long day and the uh, diet starts again tomorrow so just gonna enjoy myself maybe one back maybe two we'll see so guys we are back this is gonna be a short review of the day um, my thoughts and feelings about how it all went so if you don't like this sort of stuff click off now um, but yeah anyway down to business overall I'm actually really pleased. Um, it's nowhere near my PB. It's nowhere near where I wanted to be um, by the end of the year. But we still got loads of time. The fitness is definitely there. Um, but come on, man! I've <laughs> been training for track season. I think I've done about three weeks of maybe anything over 50 miles a week. Um, so yeah, I think that was actually a real confidence booster. It's really re-inspired me, relit re that fire um, to get motivated. So tomorrow. I'm going to get probably back into a routine, back onto a proper diet because over the last few weeks I've put some pounds on. Um, obviously in the grand scheme of things I'm still um, a pretty slim slim lad but um, when we're talking about those 1% in sport I want those 1% gains and if losing weight is, is one of them then that's definitely for me. Obviously I'm going to do it healthily and whatnot. So yeah, tomorrow we're going to be starting a project um, and that project is just going to help me stay accountable, staying in my routine, S&C, training properly, having at least 15 minutes of recovery, um, eating properly and things like that. So um, I've asked my Instagram <laughs> viewers, followers to give me some cool names and then I'll let them pick between my three favourite um, and then that's going to be a thing, hopefully an ongoing thing that you guys can maybe tap into if you're struggling with the same sort of thing. For me, the main priority in it is kind of just having a better race lifestyle or running lifestyle sorry around my ex my outside of running stuff so my uni my work my family things like that having an an all-round better um kind of balanced lifestyle for because <laughs> at the moment my life's a bit of a shambles and i know if i get those right we're talking massive gains um so yeah anyway as i said really really happy with how it went actually um i went through first 5k in about 16 flat um then the second 5k was a bit tougher i started to feel a bit tired but then at 10k it's like i had this second win i was like wow i actually feel really good got into this nice group um with some guys um and yeah then we kind of worked together it was really good and i was in my head i was like wow i feel <laughs> i feel amazing i went through halfway um 34 dead which would obviously get me through at 68 um, but yeah, obviously the, the wheels came off with 5k to go, um, not really what I wanted, but it's kind of what I expected. I knew that the speed was going to be there because I'd ran 1500s all season. Um, and I just, yeah, I just knew that the pace was going to feel pretty slow, but I knew I wasn't going to sustain it for very long. Um, I actually sustained it for a, a lot longer than I expected. I did go off a bit quicker. Then I probably should have done, um, and maybe it could have got a sub 70, maybe a sub 69, potentially had I gone off a little bit slower. Um, but I didn't really know the course, and that plays such a big part in these things. And I just kind of got sucked in. I'm happy to admit it, I got sucked in. Saw the proper elites at the front, um, and the start there's a little bit of an uphill, but then it's like it's all downhill um, for the first kind of 3 4k. So yeah, I just got a bit sucked in, but that's absolutely fine. These things happen, um, but yeah. <laughs> I come away from that with nothing but positives really. The fitness that I'm in and the preparation that went into it. Um, <laughs> it was actually, if anything, I think I've overachieved. In my head, I was thinking off of the preparation and the way my life has been kind of around my running at the moment. Um, I was expecting much, much slower. So I shocked myself, but it's kind of, it's re-inspired me. Got me to kind of just think about, take a step back and think about what I'm actually trying to achieve here because um, my diet was all over the place in the last two, three weeks. 
so yeah, starting tomorrow. Gonna enjoy myself tonight, finish off um, the Great North Run with a bang. Um, I, I say that, it's probably gonna be a bowl of cereal, but <laughs> anyhow. Um, yeah, overall, really great event. The support was incredible. My family absolutely smashed it. Dad and Grace ran together, not a PB, but they just had um, a bit of fun. Neither of them taking it too seriously. Mum has done barely any training. She ran 2.31 um, or 2.30 something. Um, and she was hoping for sub two th uh, 2.45. And this is off barely any training at all. I think she's done one run in the last like week to 10 days. Um, and my uncle as well, he's, he's done but even less. I think he's done like four or five Ks in the last three months, something like that. Um, and he managed to get around um, I don't actually know what time it he ran, so I'll put it on the screen. Um, but yeah, overall, really successful race, loads of positives to take, and it's great to meet some of you guys. It's actually quite interesting to see how my viewership changes when you go up north. I don't get noticed anywhere near as much, um, which is really interesting to see. And that just shows me that a lot of my viewers are from further down south. That's not to say I don't get any up north, um, but even when I went to the Manchester Marathon just to spectate, I got loads of people coming up and saying hello. So either people don't like me anymore, which I don't think is the case, um, or my content just doesn't really reach up up that far yet anyway. So, um, but yeah, so the few people that did come and say hello, um, it's nice to see you guys. Um, and yeah, I don't think there's anything that I've really missed, to be honest. The elite experience was a bit, a bit mad. Um, it kind of felt like track racing back in the day, kind of everyone not really talking to each other, everyone just trying to get into the zone. So I basically sat on my own for an hour and a half, two hours, just kind of doing nothing. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool seeing some of the elites, got a photo with a couple of them. Um, one particular elite <laughs> did say no to a photo, but um, I'm not gonna mention them uh, for obvious reasons, and that's down to them. Uh, but they have gone significantly down in my, um, kind of my, my tier of elite athletes. It was a female, I'll tell you, I'll give you that. Um, but yeah, like the, the elite athlete experience is pretty mad, the baggage area, like the... Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, it's just a bit mad. Lots of space, um, the warming up was completely alone, it was like a ghost town, there was no one out where we were running because all the roads had been shut off. Um, and to be honest, legs didn't feel fantastic, but that sort of event, seeing those sorts of people. Um, and then I got to see friend from Victor, Mike, um, at the start line, which was really cool. Um, we've travelled kind of 10 hours up north and then we were on the start line together which is just awesome. So um, yeah, I don't think there's anything that I've specifically missed. I've been ranting for 7 minutes now. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty pretty happy with that and Project Something starts tomorrow. So um, I'll let you guys know once I've picked a name for that. But anyway guys, if you've got any specific questions, do drop them down in the comments. I might make a completely separate kind of Great North Run retrospect or great off run review sort of video just because i feel like there's just so much to talk about i don't want this video to go on forever um, but anyway guys thank you for all the support i really appreciate it i've just been um kind of i'm not gonna say bombarded that's not the right word but loads of supportive messages both before and after the events so i really appreciate that and it just showed me that there's going to be some big things that happen this season because on a bad day i run a low 70 minute half marathon so imagine what i can do with proper training proper routine and um, a good day. So, yeah, anyway guys, thank you for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share with your running buddies, it's free for you, and it means a lot to me. I'll catch you in the next one.